What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. Today I wanted to talk about some pretty cool info about another champion concept that actually got cancelled from League of Legends that Riot Medler recently talked about a little bit on I'm a Cutie Pie and Scar's League of Legends podcast, Beyond the Rift. So shout out to all you guys out there who watch Beyond the Rift 2. It's a great show and Riot Medler brought up some really cool stuff and I wanted to dive super in depth to it. So while fielding questions from the chat on the show, Riot Medler was asked if there was any other really awesome and crazy champion concepts that didn't end up working out for the game that the community maybe hadn't heard about before. And I got really excited because Riot doesn't really talk about cancelled champions anymore, at least certainly not the way they used to. So this is kind of like the newest one that's been talked about for a really long time. And so he described a character that was known as the Ink Mage. And I wanted to dive into the overall concept, how it could have worked, how it would have worked actually, and if we could ever see the Ink Mage in the game one day in the future. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the Beyond the Rift viewer question started out by asking if the designers ever regret some of the work they've done in the past, and Riot Meddler immediately confirmed this was the case, particularly back when Riot was producing a champion every two weeks back in Season 2, a little bit in Season 3 too. The speed of development back then meant a lot of champions were being produced without really enough time to flesh out and balance their kits. There was also a really noticeable drop in overall production quality for things like art and backstory for these champions, since it's really just not enough time to put out a high quality character in terms of the overall release schedule. And this is a big part of the reason that Riot is now today so focused on reworks and visual gameplay updates. They want all the aspects of their game, the champions especially, to be up to their new, same, super high standards, which means going back to previous champion releases and making improvements wherever possible. He even provides Yorick as an example, who apparently had his ultimate changed two weeks before release, which resulted in something that was just so insanely buggy. And Rye Medler went on to address the second part of the question, asking about some of the craziest champion ideas they came up with. So the champion concept that immediately came to his mind was a character known as the Ink Mage. A character who would cast his spells by drawing out shapes and other things in the game with your mouse cursor. The idea was that you'd use your mouse almost like a paintbrush, so it'd probably be a super challenging champion to control properly, and I'm a Cutie Pie and Scar seemed just instantly really impressed, noting how much fun that overall concept would be to play, but Ride Meddler also quickly pointed out a major flaw and probably one of the biggest reasons why the concept never made it into the game. He said it was really fun to play when you were doing it without any pressure, for example if you're just playing it by yourself in a custom game or something, but if you're in the middle of a super complicated teamfight, it becomes just insanely difficult to control and be useful while also trying to stay alive and move around and it's just overwhelmed the players completely to the point where you ended up feeling or even just being completely useless in that situation. One game that does use a similar sort of gesture mouse control system to this actually is Okami, a Capcom game originally developed for PlayStation 2 way back in the day. So in that game, this gesture system comes in the form of a celestial brush, which allows players to pause the game and bring up a canvas they can paint on. And these paintings in the game can do all sorts of different things. You can use the system to slice an enemy with attacks, solve puzzles, or use all sorts of other abilities. And although the painting system worked really well for Okami, there's one big factor here that does make it really tricky for a game like League, which is of course that the game can't be paused. Okami is a single player adventure game and that means having a game mechanic that requires you to pause the game and paint around things is totally fine, but in an online multiplayer game, players would just have to draw extremely quickly to make sure they cast spells before they end up dying to something around them. And this is probably the biggest concern that Riot had with their Ink Mage concept, even if it was awesome and unlike anything else in the game, it would be really difficult to find the right way to do it and find the right context for that character. Now finding the right context for a character is really important and in his excitement of the reaction to the concept, I'm a Cutie Pie actually came up with a pretty clever way to make it work. So his idea was to turn the Ink Mage into a support character and give him an ultimate that would allow him to draw a box around his target, shaping the terrain and essentially trapping them in. Now a support champion is definitely a really great way to make the ink mage work for a few reasons. To start with, you need to consider the actions per minute requirements 
or APM for short, of most champions in each role. So AD carries and mid laners in particular tend to require a little bit higher APM because they're poking the enemy laners, taking CS, constantly moving to avoid damage, and doing all sorts of mechanical things. If the Ink Mage was a mid laner, you'd have to move around, last hit, and somehow all at the same time draw his spells with the mouse too, while paying attention to having map awareness and you know doing all sorts of crazy things and it just becomes really overloaded and places too much focus on the mouse usage and overall mechanical difficulty and this is where the shift to support comes in. Although of course you do still have some level of mechanics where you have to move around, you definitely don't need to focus as much on last hitting as support, so instead you can afford to use your mouse to cast your spells a lot better. And Riot might even try something crazy and give that character perhaps a secondary movement tool like using the arrow keys to move so you could keep your mouse free to paint the spells while also moving at the same time. Something like that in terms of the user experience is maybe something you'd have to go with for that concept. Now another way that Riot could make the Ink Mage perhaps a little bit less complicated to use in a fight is stick to some really basic sort of paint restrictions. Things like painting a straight line as a cut across an enemy could be a pretty simple way to make the main damage tool work, and it would happen quickly enough that there wouldn't really be all that much pressure compared to a more complex version. In fact, the whole idea of quickly moving your mouse across someone is already kind of similar to what players do when they want to smart cast an ability like Victor's Death Ray, for example. So it's not actually too much of a stretch to what players are perhaps already used to. Other spells on the kit could also be a lot more rudimentary in nature. There's no need to force players to paint complicated structures or spells, for example drawing a quick plus sign or circle while holding down a specific ability button could work as maybe a heal or a barrier type spell, and it could be casted quickly enough that players aren't going to struggle too much to actually use it in a fight. And as for Cutie Pie's idea of painting a box around an enemy for the ultimate, they could make it so that maybe pressing R creates the box and then you paint over the different sides to strengthen them and make it more difficult to actually escape. That way you wouldn't somehow need to paint a box around a moving target while also moving yourself, which would actually probably be pretty difficult at least in the middle of a team fight for sure, but you'd still get the effect of painting on someone to increase the effectiveness of the ultimate. The act of painting over the shape could have all sorts of different effects, maybe it could add bonus crowd control, or some kind of ink blindedness, or perhaps it could just add some damage if your target passed through the sides that you've painted so far. Now one thing that would actually be pretty easy to design for the ink mage is the resource that the character would use. It totally makes sense that rather than using mana or energy, the ink mage instead uses some supply of ink. And this would limit the number of times he or she could use abilities or maybe paint creatures or, you know, do all sorts of stuff with the ink abilities coupled with the cooldowns that could be used to balance them quite effectively. And you could also design a nice aspect around the kit of replenishing the supply, maybe something sort of like Bard's Chimes where you have to kind of collect ink around the map, harvesting it from the vegetation, or maybe it just kind of regenerates naturally or something like that. Riot's really good with, at coming up with those kind of things, so I'm sure they could definitely figure it out. But speaking of Riot, you guys are probably wondering if we'll ever realistically see a champion like this in the game. Well, there's definitely some really good news for you, actually. On his quick gameplay thoughts post on November 10th, the day after the Beyond the Rift podcast, Riot Meddler was asked for a little bit more details on the Ink Mage concept. Now, although he didn't offer any additional insight to the design of the cancelled character, Riot Meddler did comment that they might revisit the concept one day, although he did say, a lot of the things in the concept sounded better on paper than they actually worked in the game for the reasons we outlined earlier. Still, we know Rai likes to keep things under wraps to avoid building any hype in a product that might not ever see release. I'm looking at you, Aoshin. So Riot Meddler's reply actually lends quite a lot more credibility to the discussion than you might expect, and it means that it's probably not going to be the last that we hear of the Ink Mage character. So I for one would definitely be really excited for the release of this concept, I think it could be super fun to play with. They'd probably have to design it in a way that's quite different to how Riot Meddler described, but it's something that could definitely be released in the future. Either way though, that's all I've got for you today. I'd love to hear your ideas on how to make this kick-ass concept of a character work in-game, so definitely share any ideas you might have for the Ink Mage in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.